Here's another don't pass strategy from Wayland's Way Craps. Hey everyone, it's Mike. Welcome back to my channel. So in my last few videos, I've been trying to find some good examples of how to play from the don't pass, the don't come, and maybe even behind numbers as lay bets. And I went out and searched for another example. I was playing the Arnold by Waylon, and I tried to show that a few times. And then I searched again, and it just happened to pop up that Waylon had another video out just recently that he calls Smokey and the Bandit. And it also uses don't pass and lay bets. So I'm like, I got to watch this. And the more I watched it, the more I liked it. I don't think I understand exactly every scenario, but I'm going to try it. If I run into a crazy scenario, uh, I will depend on my comments to tell me how I should have played it. And, um, and, and a couple variations that I'm going to do just because I want to try something a little different. But again, shout out to Waylon and his channel, Waylon's Craps. And um, I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. So as you can see, this is a link to, uh, to Waylon's video called Smoking the Bandit Strategy. And I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. So let's just go over here to Crapsy. I'll try to explain it as we go. Um, I'm going to play it at $500. I'm going to turn my, whoops, let's try this again. I'll play it at $500. I'm going to turn my turbo mode on. Okay, so basically you've got a couple things that you're going to do to set this up. One is before the point is established, while the puck is off, you, you place one unit in the don't pass. So in this case, we'll put $5 in the don't pass. And then one unit behind the four and behind the 10. And what you're doing is you're basically trying to um, minimize your losses on a seven on a seven on the come out. Because you know a seven wins on the pass line, seven loses on the don't pass, but you're gonna win your lay bets. So uh, I think in the video, Wayland said it's a wash, but I think it comes out that you in if you're gonna play uh, bubble craps where it calculates everything down to the penny. I think you lose a couple pennies, maybe 20 cents or something. If I roll a seven here, uh, we'll see how much I lose, but it's not much. You can call it a wash if you like. But anyway, this is the, this is the first way to get this set up. And what you want to do is you want to get a point. So you want to avoid the seven. You'd like to get a point like a five, six, eight, or nine. Cause if you roll the four or the 10, you're going to lose the bet that you've got laid behind the four or the 10. So it'd really be nice to roll like a five, a six, an eight or nine and have the puck move to one of those inside numbers. And then when the puck moves to that inside number, you pull your lay bets down to buy bets and then you fill the rest of the inside numbers with buy bets. So now you've got a one unit don't pass and one unit buy bets across all six numbers. And as, as Waylon says, this is your vulnerability point. You roll a seven here, you're going to lose. But like anything, all strategies have a, very, uh, a vulnerability. So you got to avoid that seven. You need to avoid the seven out on the come out, and you need to vo avoid a point seven out to get this to work. But once you do that, then you're set up. So let's see if I can get to that point, and then I'll explain the next steps. So I've got a lay bet on the four and the 10. I have a one unit on the, the don't pass. Let's go ahead and roll. And there's a 10. So I lose that money, but the point is established. So I'm going to pull this lay bet down and I'm going to fill the rest of my box numbers with one unit bets. Okay. Now I don't want a seven here. I want to get through this point. And you're looking for one hit as Waylon says, you want to get one hit here. So that one hit is a six. Now that I've got that one hit, I take all these bets down and I replace them with a $1 bet on every point except the point that my, the, the number that my point is. So I'm going to put $1 on every number except the 10. So if, if when I say one unit, I'm talking $5 
That way, your place bets at the next level would be $1. So it's a one unit, $1. If I went to two units, it'd be a $10 with $2 units on the place bets. Okay, hopefully that'll make sense. We'll get to that point, I'll show it to you. But from this point on, if you look at this, you've got $5 in place bets or buy bets protected by a $5 don't pass bet. So here, a seven out is a wash. And you just wanna roll this until you hit the seven out. If you hit the seven out uh, and it's a wash, hopefully you've made a few dollars on your other box numbers before you hit the seven. If you hit the point, the 10, you're going to, um, you're going to lose your $5 on the don't pass because it loses on the point. You want this to win on the seven to offset the losses here. But if you roll the 10, you're going to lose your don't pass bet, but these bets stay up. You don't lose them. So you're going to lose. Then it's up to you whether you want to ladder up or stay where you're at. If you've, if you've hit the box numbers four or five times and then rolled the point, the 10, you may have enough winnings to stay at this level. So let's just see what we can do here. Let's go ahead and roll. We're going to just roll until we hit a seven or a 10. Okay, there's an eight. And as you can see, with a $1 bet, it pays $1.16. So if you're going to play this uh, at a craps, a bubble craps machine, let it calculate the wins. If you play this um, at a real table, first of all, you can't put $1 bets out. But if you played this, uh, you, you're going you're gonna to make the dealer work pretty hard. So recommend playing this at a bubble craps. I think Waylon says the same. Let's go ahead and roll. Okay, there we hit the 10, so we lose our $5. Let's take a quick look at that. We hit the, the, we hit the 10, we lose the 5, but these bets stay up. Okay, they're off because the puck is off, but we've lost $5. So you need to make a decision. Okay, I hit one number, then I hit the 7. So maybe I want to ladder up. So if you want to ladder up, then you take these bets down. You put two units on the don't pass, two units behind the four, two units behind the 10. The puck is off. So you're back up here before the point's established. It says place $5. I should change that to say place one unit and one unit behind the four and the 10. Now we're going to go to two units. Let's go ahead and roll. Okay, there's a two. So that's a, that's a bonus because uh, two and three win on the don't pass. 7-Eleven lose, and you bar the 12. It's a push. So that's a, that's just a, a bonus win. That's good. Let's go ahead and roll. Okay, there's an 8. Now the puck's going to move to the 8. Now I'm going to pull these, these lay bets down to buy bets and, repl and add buy bets or place bets on the remaining numbers. So now I've got $60 in place bets protected by only a $10 don't pass. So this is vulnerability spot. You want to avoid the seven here. And you're looking for one hit. And there's a seven. So that's that's down 50. I'm definitely going to ladder up here. So I'm going to go to three units. Three units on the four. Three units on the 10. And I need to establish a point. It's a six. So the puck's gonna to move to the six. Let's pull these down to buy bets. And now let's put either buy bets or place bets on the remaining numbers. And again, since I'm playing bubble craps, I don't have to worry about making these six and eight bets divisible by $6. I can go ahead and put 15 in there. Just make sure your six and eight are not locked in. So now I've got six bets at $15 each protected by one don't pass bet. So I got to avoid the seven here. And there's the 10. Okay. So that pays $29. Whoops. Let's get out of that. Um, and that's one bet. So the way the strategy works is now you take these bets completely down. And you replace them. I've got three units on the don't pass, so I want $3 on every number except the point. 
And Waylon, if you're watching, let me know if I'm doing this right. $3, three units, or three units on the don't pass equals $3 on the box numbers except the point. And I want to roll this until I either roll a seven, which will be a wash, or I roll the six and I lose the $15. So hopefully if I roll the six, I will have made $15 first before I lose that. So let's go ahead and roll. There's an eight, there's 350. Let's just, let's just keep rolling this. Well, there's a six right away. So you wanna roll these box numbers three or four times before you roll the point, because then you don't have to ladder up. But um, I only won 350, then I lost 15, so I'm, I'm negative. So I think I'm going to go ahead and ladder up and see how this works. So I'm going to take everything down. The puck is off. So now I'm going to do four units in the don't pass. Four units behind the four. Four units behind the ten. Let's see if this helps us at all. Okay, there's an eight. So the puck moves to the eight. These bets now come down to buy bets. And I put $20 buy bets or place bets on every box number except the point okay now i'm looking for one hit and it's a six okay now these all come down and i've got four units on the don't pass so i want four dollars on every number except the point. So four times five numbers is 20 protected by the $20. Now let's roll this about eight or nine times. Come on. It's an 11. That doesn't help us. A two doesn't help us. Okay. There's a 10. That's one. Let's see if we can't roll this a couple times here. There's a four. That's a good hit. There's a 10. Tens and fours pay the most. So those, that's three good hits right there. And there's another four. And there's the number, the eight. Okay, that's the eight. We lose the $20, but we made, what did we make? 28, we made about 30 bucks. Okay, I went ahead and stopped my video because I think that explains how the strategy is supposed to work. I wanted to do another quick variation that I like to do, especially on strategies that progress up and down the ladder, okay? So what I'm gonna do here is instead of starting with one unit on the don't pass and one unit behind the four and 10, I'm gonna start at level three or ladder level three. Let me just set that up real quick. So that would be $15 on the don't pass, $15 on the lay bet behind the four and behind the 10. And the reason I'm gonna do this is I'm just gonna to try to be very positive here and I'm going to expect to build up a, a quicker um, positive return because I'm starting at a higher level and then if I can get a good roll and get a nice uh, amount of positive chips, I will then ladder down and play with the winnings. So let's give it a try and, and see how it works. So again, I'm starting at level three or unit three. Let's go ahead and get a point. Now, there's a seven out. Let's look at that because I didn't get a chance to show this the last time. It's not quite a wash. It's about 25 cents per unit loss. And that's because the lay bets don't make exactly half on the four and the 10. They make a little bit less. So in this case, I have three units. So I lost about 25 cents per unit or 76 cents, okay? If you're using real chips at a table, you're not gonna mess with those little 25 cent losses. You're just gonna call it a wash. But let's go ahead and reset. Three units on the don't pass, three units behind the four and the 10. Let's get a point. Okay, the puck is gonna to move to the six. 
I'm now going to move these lay bets down into buy bets and put $15 on the remaining numbers. Okay. And here's my vulnerability. But I'm at level three, so I'm going to hope I get one hit and then uh, take those down. So let's get one hit here. Okay, there's a hit. So that's what I was looking for. I wanted, I want to get one hit at a larger level, a higher ladder level, because that gives me more money. Now I take these down and I replace these with three units or three dollar bets on every number except the point. So I've got $15 in box number bets protected by a $15 don't pass. And again, I'd like to roll a box number except for the six. I like to, I like to roll the other box numbers, you know, four or five times before I roll a six or a seven. A seven would be better than a six. Okay, there's a nine. That's the first hit. Let's get about three or four hits here. There's an eight. There's another hit. Come on now. There's a 12, nothing on the 12, and a 7 out. Now, if you notice, 7 out, there's nothing next to it. It's because it's a wash. I lose my $3 box number bets, place bets and buy bets. I win the $15 on the don't pass. So the 7 out, remember the 7 is the most common number rolled. That does not hurt us. Okay, and I was able to hit three numbers before I hit the seven. Okay, so that gives me $28. So do I now ladder down, whoops, to two units? See, I would much rather start a little higher, hopefully get a good roll and get some money and then play with those winnings and try to stay above the, uh, <laughs> try to stay positive, above zero. Okay, let's get a number. There's a 10. That's a number, but it's the number that our lay bet was behind. We lose the 10. So let's take this down and let's go ahead and put $10 across. Okay, this is my vulnerability spot. This do not roll a seven. There's an eight, okay? That's the one hit I'm looking for. Now I take these all down. And I'm at two units, so $2 across, except the 10. Now, seven does not hurt me, and that's the most common number. The least common number would be the four and the 10. So I expect to roll four, five, six hits before I hit a seven or a 10. Let's see if I can do it. There's an eight, that's one hit. And there's a seven out. So one hit and then the seven out, but the seven out does not hurt me. I would have loved to have rolled fours and fives and eights and nines um, and sixes before I hit the, the 10 or the seven, but that's okay. Um, I made a little bit of money, so maybe I go down the ladder to ladder one. So that would be $5. So it's really up to you. If you want to play the variation, and it could be any variation you want. I just decided to start with three units on the don't pass, and that gave me a chance to either go up a unit if I uh, hit a, uh, a bad number and, and went into the red, or I could play with my winnings and go down one level or now we're going down two levels. So let's go ahead and get a point. It's a six. Let's mark the six. Let's pull these down to buy bets and replace the other four insides with $5 bets and let's roll. There's a five. That's my first hit. I take these down. And I'm at unit one, so I put $1 bet everywhere except the, the point. 
And let's roll this 100 times. There's an 8. There's an 11. No help. We got one hit so far. And there's a 9. There's another hit. A 3 does not help us. There's a 10. That's a good number for us. That's three hits. There's an 8. That's four hits. And there's the 7 out that does not hurt us. So that's good. Okay, if, if we would have done that at level three, we would have gotten a lot more money because we would have had more bets out there. So it's up to you. I kind of like starting a little bit higher instead of starting with one unit and working my way up. I'd rather start at, in the middle, round three. And then I have a choice of either going up or down, depending on how I feel the table's going. So that's the variation I wanted to show. Um, again, that's going to be our roll for the day. Thank you so much, Waylon. If you guys uh, haven't been out to his site, I'll post it. I'll put it in the comments um, so that you guys can go visit his channel. Definitely, you want to subscribe and watch his videos. He's got a lot of good videos, especially if you want to protect your bets with lay bets or don't pass or don't come bets. Um, definitely check him out. So again, that's our video for today. I hope everyone's having a great day. And as usual, thanks for watching. Hey guys, if you made it this far, please check out these other craps related channels.